Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Manpreet Shukla. And today's topic is why do we cry, and are there any benefits of crying? So let's get started. So first of all, there are three types of tears: basal tears, reflex tears, and emotional tears. So these three types of tears have their own functions and their own benefits. So let's get started with that. The first type of tear we'll be covering are basal tears. Basal tears keep your cornea from drying out. The cornea is like a transparent layer that covers the front portion of your eye. So these tears are produced on a regular basis throughout the entire day to keep dust and other harmful particles from entering your eye. Like there are lots of dust particles in the air, so these tears are very transparent and are always in your eyes to keep these particles away from your cornea. The fact is that humans produce five to ten ounces of basal tears every single day. The second type of tears are reflex tears. Reflex tears are produced when your eyes need to wash out the harmful irritants. Now this is not the same as basal tears. The air or dust particles which are all around us every single day, basal tears are kept in our eyes throughout the day to keep them from entering our eyes. But reflex tears are there to keep any chemical compounds or any chemical gas from entering our eye. For example, when an onion is cut, a compound known as tear gas is released from the onions. Now this causes the nerves around the eyes that are called lacrimal glands to become irritated and produce reflex tears. So reflex tears are there to help our eyes be safe from any chemical gas that is also smoke. So for example in this image, the cornea, when it senses um, any chemical gas around the eye, it sends a signal to the brain to produce the reflex tears. Emotional tears, pro probably the most famous and most awaited tears. Now, emotional tears are produced when one is dealing with a strong emotion. For example, everyone cries when they're extremely sad or when they're extremely happy or when they're extremely tired. People also cry when they're extremely angry. So emotional tears are produced when anyone is facing a very strong or intense emotion. Many people think that crying is useless and is of no help. But scientists discovered that crying is a method of stress relief. Furthermore, some research shows that crying can boost the body's production of a feel-good chemical in the brain. So, not on every little thing, but when you do feel to cry, it is recommended to do so and not keep your feelings inside. And crying can also cause your stressful mind to get rid of the stress hormone. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more educational videos like this one. If you like this video and learn something new from it, do hit the like button and share this video with your family and friends. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.